TV. We are very happy to bring on board again Simran Jitwani and she has her very special feature story to share with us. She has this mega recent achievement and that is creating two Guinness World Records on one single day for a very beautiful cause of breast cancer awareness. One was breaking one record and another was creating one which also went live worldwide and on all social medias. And this is great indeed. It was started and completed in Pune. Hi Simran. Hello. So this is really impressive and I was looking forward to interview you exclusively on this. How did this concept really begin for you? Actually, I've been doing social work as I told you last time, but I've been doing this social work from the age of nine. And um, I really felt that over the years, I, I became more enhanced, I became more better in doing and understanding people and trying to do all the different causes. I didn't stick to any one particular one, but whatever came in my way, I just did it. And amidst all that, I felt that I, I have the ability to do a larger volume thing. Right. So that's how I started surveying what is it that I can do on a larger volume. Breast cancer is one thing where people are Absolutely. coming out to open yeah. up and understand. So everybody is into those myths. So I wanted all those assumptions and myths to be banished from, from the minds of people and come out in open and speak whatever is their problem. Correct. And in that survey I came to know that even men have breast cancer which I didn't know myself. Oh my god, I so, never did know. Yeah, so even men have breast cancer. So like I was saying now it is the time that people should know a lot of, about Absolutely. this. And should, should be aware in a very genuine and unique way where everyone can come out and open and talk about it, you know. So then um, yes, then I thought, thought and I said Okay, then I asked my lawyer, so how, how much time will it take to create one right. organization? So he said within two months I can do that. So there it clicked for me. Okay, so the first step came that I can do it. You won't believe 26th November was the date and January 18th was my registration done. Oh, okay. Okay, that hadn't happened so easily. I want to mention that there were seven people I gathered together, including me. I want to mention their names because yes, they are the most um, important people who really made this happen for me. So one is the trustee of D.Y. Patel, Shweta um, Jawan Patel. And uh, second is, is Padma Shri Neela Punawalaji. Uh, third is Latika Sankla, the builder and fourth is Sapna Chajar and uh, fifth was uh, uh, one other lady and uh, Wakefields, Wakefields, um, Janki auntie, Bahari uncle's wife, she and me, okay. So I gathered all these dignitaries you can say of, yes, of Pune are. actually and it wasn't easy for me to gather them in, in one uh, bunch. So we had to gather 2,000 ladies, so we gathered 2,600 ladies, but that was a big thing that we had to do because getting ladies, if you had to get men and women together, it's still easy, but to get ladies that also on a Sunday morning at 8 o'clock over there, um, it wasn't easy for us and within that very short period of like 8 days, so then you won't believe that we approached each and every slum areas where we wanted to get them and know them about it and all and especially the patients who are there who are suffering from it so basically we were trying to gather genuinity not just get get a mob so that was also a big challenge for us a lot of honesty put into you exactly trying to achieve and you know Shweta what happened amidst this that everybody was demoralizing me at that point that you are mad how can you get like 2,000 ladies, Sunday morning nobody gets up and all the underprivileged ladies they don't leave their husbands and come and do you think that they will come for you? Either you forget your record or you change your day or you, you cannot do it or it will be disqualified. So after hearing all this 
and still I was very positive. Oi oh, foundation, oi oh, means open your open eyes. Your eyes. So open your eyes to everything, assumptions and myths, discard like scars off and get the facts in. So this was my motive and this is my logic. And there so is a buzz in town, Simran, that you're coming up, uh, you know, verifying one more uh, such unique concept. But now I want to do something, concrete thing, which I can uh, help the underprivileged do something uh, where they can earn their own living. So I want to do something vocational for them. We have adopted a village where we are doing a lot of things, putting up toilets for them, working on women empowerment for them. Then also uh, counseling a uh, lot of schools, English, Hindi, Marathi. I go myself. I don't charge anybody anything for all this. I also do um, personality development for children, That's cool. uh, even for teachers, trainees. So now it's education specific. It, uh, yes. I also, we also put up camps for eye checkups. We give anything operation. We also do cataract operations for the children, which we, we pay to the hospitals and we get it for the children done free. So um, there are simultaneously a lot of projects going on together. But yes, I know I can do simultaneously on a bigger volume. So where I see the need is there for a bigger volume to be done, then I'm working on it. So this I feel now underprivileged need that little bit. I've been doing in a lot of areas all these things. But now I think I can. it's time like I do it on a larger volume. So where I know that I will be able to. Yes, it's a lot of challenges as I said. But yes, my uh, passion, passion doesn't go down. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> So that was Sibrin Jetwani and her remarkable, unbeatable achievements, two achievements rather, of Guinness World Records. So Sibrin, thank you so much for sharing your lovely journey and achievements, the challenges you face, everything with us. Thank you. Bye.